let's take a look at this IQ of it. It's from a small games. That's how the board looks. One player puzzle game. Easy to expert. 120 challenges. Quite an interesting looking box. You can use each piece in a multiple ways. Fit 3D pieces into 2D game board. Costs around 699 rupees or around $10 or so. Smart Games is from Belgium. These are the game rules. Check out all the games they make. Looks like they make quite a lot of stuff. Even more. I didn't see any of them in the store though. I saw this one. So this is the puzzle book. That's how the puzzle looks. This is the start one. That's how the expert ones look. So let's try and make the first one. That's how the board looks. Everything is flat. That's how the pieces look. That's the first one. The first one was pretty easy. I guess it gets tougher as you go along. It looks like a really fun game. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at these uh, butter cookies. These are by K. Rogers. Original Danish recipe. Comes in this beautiful tin. That's how the cookies look. Ingredients are wheat flour, vegetable oil, sugar, butter, corn flour, milk powder, baking powder, sodium bicarbonate, calcium bicarbonate, vanilla flavor and uh, salt. This is made in Malaysia. Costs around uh, 250 rupees or uh, $3 or so. That's how the cookies look. Let's taste it. These are really buttery, nice and crumbly with a hint of saltiness. All of them are similarly flavored, just different shapes. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at these uh, cotton swabs. These are by Miniso. It's a Japanese brand. That's how the store looks. They have done some nice innovation on uh, cotton swabs. These are uh, pure cotton and you get in uh, different colors. This one has a paper stem so it's fully recyclable black cotton swab with a pepper stem that's the brand it's designed by japan 
made in China. You get 200 pieces. It uses advanced dyeing technique to prevent discoloration. Contains chitosan fiber serving as an antibacterial medium. These have one more unique feature. One end is plain like this. Other end has a grooves on it. So it can now get more dirt out. That's how the plain end looks versus the end with the ridges on it and the paper stem feels really tough. I think every company should adopt this and uh, stop using plastic. Again a really nice innovation. In this one you get a different color and uh, on one edge you get a pointed tip. So you can use these uh, tips to clear out your uh, makeup. Really interesting. Similarly priced. You get a plain rounded end and a pointed end. This also has the paper stem and these uh, look really nice too. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this block cake. This is a milk chocolate bar with a hazelnut. It's Euro block cake. I'm guessing that's how the bar looks. Interesting looking packaging. Costs around uh, 250 rupees or uh, $3 or so. Ingredients are uh, sugar, fully hydrogenated uh, palm fat, skim milk powder, fat reduced cocoa powder, hazelnut, whey powder, sunflower oil, emulsifiers, soy lechon and uh, flavors. Looks like this is manufactured in a uh, Republic of Serbia. This pack has uh, two servings. Each serving is about 207 calories. Let's see what we get. You get uh, four such mini bags. Looks pretty spot on to what's on the packaging. It's milk chocolate on the outside and a hazelnut in the middle. So let's taste it. The milk chocolate on the outside is a bit dry and uh, hard. And the hazelnut chocolate in the middle is quite soft. That gives you two different textures. Tastes really good. It's only slightly sweet. So really tasty. Tasty chocolate bar. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this Nerf Roto Fury. This has a 10 dot rotating drum. This costs around uh, 3499 rupees or uh, $50 or so. This fires up to 90 feet. It's a really huge gun quite well made. That's how the barrel looks. This is how you load it. So let's see how this works. shoots really far. It's quite a lot of fun. 
Кое днес? Че град? Let's take a look at this roasted uh, seaweed snack. This has a wasabi too. Quite interesting looking packaging. That's how the snack looks. No trans fat, gluten free, no cholesterol, vegan. That's the company that uh, makes it. Some of the ways you can uh, use it. Or you can just eat it uh, directly. The ingredients are uh, liver, rapeseed oil, sesame oil, and uh, wasabi powder. The whole thing is about uh, one serving, and that's about. 30 calories. It's manufactured in uh, Korea. This costs around uh, 75 rupees or around a dollar or so. So let's taste it. That's how it looks. It uh, almost melts in your mouth, has the perfect amount of wasabi on it and you get that lot of fishy seawater flavor, there is a hint of saltiness, it's really flavorful and uh, quite tasty, quite nice, check it out. Let's take a look at these uh, IKEA kitchen utensils. All of these are under the uh, same series and it comes in uh, quite a few colors. The whole range costs between uh, 60 rupees or uh, 120 rupees or uh, 1 to 2 dollars. This is the vegetable peeler. You get a really big handle and uh, feels quite uh, comfortable in your hand. This is a bottle opener, really minimal design, gives you a really nice grip and uh, looks nice too. And uh, this is their uh, can opener. Not sure about uh, plastic can openers though, but looks quite good. It's hard to get any of these uh, in a similar color or a similar design theme. So it's nice to see IKEA offer these. They also come in, uh, I think, three different colors. Quite nice. Check it out.
Let's take a look at this Frank's Red Hot Pepper Sauce. This is extra hot. Frank's been around since 1920. Red Hot Extra Hot Cayenne Pepper Sauce. Real heat, real flavor. This is from US. Costs around uh, 199 rupees or around uh, $3 or so. It has a two years shelf life. This sauce was created in uh, Buffalo, New York. Ingredients are uh, aged cayenne red pepper, distilled vinegar, water, salt, paprika extract and uh, garlic powder. Manufactured in uh, Springfield, uh, Missouri. So let's taste it. I think that's enough. Let's taste it. It starts off quite tangy. Once it goes past the taste buds, that's when the heat starts. It packs nice amount of heat. Definitely red hot. Frank's knows his hot sauces. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this Neo Burger Chips. That's how it looks, non-GMO, farm fresh. Ingredients are cucumber, sugar water, vinegar, firming agent, dill weed, onion, red bell pepper, yellow mustard, black pepper and uh, color. This has about 80 calories. It's manufactured by Neo Foods in Karnataka, India. This costs around uh, 120 rupees or uh, two dollars or so. That's how it looks. It has a nice crunchiness to it. It has a nice sweetness and a really nice pickle flavor. It tastes really nice. Quite nice. Check it out. I guess that's close enough. Let's taste it. It doesn't look exciting, but uh, tastes pretty amazing. I definitely need to improve my sushi making skills though. Let's take a look at this jigsaw puzzle pen bag. This costs around uh, 250 rupees or uh, $3 or so. Can uh, customize it with the uh, blocks. That's how you put them on. Check out these designs. Some really interesting designs. They also have school bags which can be customized. So let's see how it works. That's how one side of it looks. And uh, this is how the other side looks. It has this Lego block like design. That's how the insides look. You get a nice place to store your uh, 
participants and a nice amount of cushioning and these are the blocks you get this is made out of that uh, soft silicone like rubber not hard plastic same with these uh, blocks they are uh, soft It's really easy to customize. You can have a different design each day. Quite a creative way to customize your uh, pen bag. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at these. Uh, coffee cookies these are by coca-cola cookies white coffee really interesting shape costs around 125 rupees or two dollars or so it's made in indonesia really beautiful packaging ingredients are Beet flour, sugar, vegetable oil, cornstarch, fructose, leavening agent, milk powder, emulsifiers, salt, coffee instant, natural identical white coffee flavor, artificial vanilla flavor. So let's taste it. That's how it looks. It looks pretty spot on. Let's taste it. It has a really nice coffee smell and tastes really yummy. And the shape gives you some really nice crunchy edges. These would be great coffee cookies. Quite nice. Check it out.